السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وأشهد أن لا إله إلا الله ولي الصالحين وأشهد أن محمدا عبد رسول السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته زي برضه جبر روماني from mytaskia.com traveling today الحمد لله a bit different in the car today's question is is amazing actually سبحان الله it is something that is not discussed that much in the Muslim ummah other than when the hadith of the Prophet وسلم, is mentioned, marry a woman for four. And one of the four is beauty. And, but of course, what we take from the hadith in general will be the issue of Iman. The most important thing is faith. The khutbas talk about that, the mashayikh talk about it, and it is indeed the most important thing. I believe it was Shaykh Ibn Uthaymeen rahimahullah who was discussing this hadith and he said if you get all four it's best so lineage, beauty, uh, wealth and deen of course this is the best combination sometimes we have a very skewed thinking and we say well I just want deen which is very important imagine that you are about to get a job and the job comes with a lot of benefits alhamdulillah I mean like any job right you got your salary you got your and the service you have your holidays and you say I just want to have a good working environment everything else doesn't matter a lot of people have the mentality wait a second why can't you have all of it together when that's the thing that it comes with. Why do we settle for only this? Does that mean that this part is not significant? In our case, the deen is the most significant. But it's not either or. Why not everything? Why not aim for the best? Now, obviously, are you going to get a woman who is, has got everything? Most likely not. Maybe she has beauty and deen, but maybe no lineage or not from an amazing super family that's known or... Look, it doesn't matter. So today we're talking about beauty, but let me read the question of the brother. The brother says, someone told me that you should marry only women that you're attracted to or a woman that you're attracted to. Don't marry someone you're not attracted to because the last thing you want if you're, you're not attracted to your wife and she knows that. And indeed, it is a big issue. And indeed, you should marry a woman who you are attracted to. Now, let's, let's understand the whole thing. Because the issue is that people say, no, but, but do I really need to be attracted? Well, of course, because intimacy is the first thing that becomes halal when you get married. Why? Why isn't it, for example, that you will be just praying Qiyam al-Layl or fasting together like that. Imagine that would be like a requirement, right? Let's say in the, just the culture of marriage that the first thing that's expected of you to do is to have this like marathon of like praying Qiyam al-Layl. Now some people, the first thing they do is that they thank Allah when they get married, they pray, uh, you know, they, they like eat something together. There's like, but I don't know, there's I haven't come across the evidence that this is something that is um, a must do. Most people, what they think about when they get married is the night of marriage. That's what everything prepares you to. The Prophet ﷺ, when he would marry, he would consummate the marriage and then he would have the walima the next day. So it is extremely important. It is extremely important. We've been fooled. And I don't want to get into it right now too deep because people, I don't think a lot of people can handle what's happening. We've been fooled to have this self-righteous approach towards intimacy and anyone who will discuss intimacy is aib, is not good, how dare you, even though the dean addresses this issue very, very much. But the evidence is that the first thing that becomes halal in the end, when you get married, nikah, is intimacy. 
and it is very very important because it's the it's beautiful it's the glue it's the bond it's the connection literally and allegorically like it is a connection isn't it it is what builds the love it is called making love because it creates love by that act so yes indeed you should marry someone you're attracted to is that the most important thing no Dean is the most important thing but is that an important thing I think it's extremely important and a lot of brothers and sisters because the question comes from the brother but also the sister and I think here the sisters sometimes settle much faster than the brothers the proposal comes in especially in the Muslim culture right of the I'm, I'm not gonna mention which culture but you know the brother comes proposes follows the family the woman eh, she's not really asked about it you gotta marry him you know he's a good brother she doesn't want to go against her parents of course she'll marry and a lot of times she just accepts whoever and she's not attracted to him now for women is it important to be attracted to her husband? Yes, it is. Is it as important as a man being attracted to a woman or is it the same? It's not the same. It's not the same. But it is also very important. She should also pick the dean. Of course, it applies for both. But again, even for her, it's important that she's attracted to the guy. There's a misconception that, yeah, women can just you know, mash it hard. You can be with pretty much as long as she has safety. We quote this often. You know, yeah, women are more for safety and more for stability. True, that is part of it, but not always and not every single woman. It is also important that the woman should feel that connection, that attraction. But their way of being attracted to a man, aesthetically speaking, yes, it is important. Again, not the most important, but it, you know, there's connection. There's a few other things. I mean, we're not comparing now female and male psychology and sexuality and, uh, you know, attraction, but there are certain things that are the same and certain things that are different. Let's go back to men though. For the men, it is extremely important. Actually, even for the woman, it's important that the man is attracted to her. Why? See, men are very visual. Women, I think maybe that's the greatest fundamental difference, is that women are, they, they like to see a handsome man, but it's not top priority when it comes to attraction. For the man, visual is top priority. It facilitates the process of making love, a process of connecting to his wife. It facilitates the process of, of afafa of being chased because when he's attracted to his wife he is man he's focusing on his wife he wants to be with his wife not just that but it's good for his wife because she feels desired and love and that gives her confidence happiness that my husband is really really attracted to me why but as opposed to when he's just looking left and right and he is uh, checking other women out because he's attracted to their beauty yes you can say but he should fear Allah he should he should he should yes he should do many things he should pray he should fast he should fear Allah he should he should there's many shoulds but what's the reality Islam deals also with the reality so when the man is attracted to his wife she's beautiful in his eyes beauty is in the eyes of the beholder not every man is attracted to a certain woman. People have different attractions. He will focus on her. She will feel happy. He will be happy. Intimacy will be good. The relationship will be solidified. It will be good. They will have a good time. And yes, you can enjoy yourself making love and being intimate. But if you don't have that, if you don't have that attraction, and then you'll suffer. You'll have to force yourself. 
intimacy won't be organic there won't be passion passion is missing people are having sex okay and it's more like sorry to say and excuse my direct uh, you know being direct about this but it's like like it's like misfired orgasms it's like just it's nothing yeah you are releasing but it's not good quality it's just oh let me it's kind of like you know i just want to do it so i don't fall into zina i just want to do it so it's just done it's just it's just to be done right i was gonna give you here a, a, a comparison but maybe it's not appropriate but you know when you do something and you've done it okay you fulfilled the obligation but you didn't feel it you didn't really feel it oh i've done it but you didn't really really feel it properly that's kind of what happens when there's no passion there's no connection there's no full attraction but when you desire someone and you're attracted to them then that connection can be there and it's not just about oh she has to be like the most it's it's the connection it's the chemistry oh it's like we're not talking here about some woman that's come out of you know aesthetic surgery and everything is supposed to be in perfectly in the right place no it's not always like that guys but there has to be that connection it has to it makes marriage much much better so yes it is important it is extremely important to feel connected to feel attracted do you have to marry barbie of the muslim world or something like that and can of the muslim world? the most amazing looking aesthetically looking some people they're they have this misconception and they delay marriage because this beautiful, amazing supermodel that the culture has been fooling people because of popular fashion magazines and deception and lies. Uh, they say, well, I couldn't find the right woman yet. Or the woman says, I couldn't find the right man yet. Because their standards are not high. People say, you have high standards. No, their standards are out of this world. Their standards are unrealistic. So they delay marriage and, and they end up in problems. So, yes, the, the answer to the question is yes. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. Deen is number one. If I were to pick, if I were to say what's the next after that, I would say it is that beauty, that attraction, that connection. And if you can get all the four, then go for all. Bismillah, mashallah, maybe some. Alhamdulillah, don't restrict yourself. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته